What I've got here is my X-Tool P2 laser. I just got it set up on a Husky workbench and there's some setup processes that you need to do before you can start using the laser. So I thought I'd take you along for the ride while we fill this up with antifreeze and water and get it all set up and ready to cut. In order to add the water and the antifreeze solution, we need to remove 11 screws from the P2 so we can access the back of the unit. The first six screws are right inside the system here, labeled with stickers here. One thing to note is that X-Tool sends along a screwdriver, and keep in mind that it's dual purpose. One side is more of an Allen key, and the other side is a Phillips. For getting these screws out, you need to use the Allen key side. Now that I've got the six on the inside done, I need to pull the workbench out. Thankfully this Husky workbench has wheels on the bottom, so it's gonna be real easy to pull out. Then I can get to the five screws on the back side and access the panel back there to fill the water and antifreeze. These five screws are a lot longer, and make sure you don't miss this one in the middle in the grate here. Now that we've got the top off, we can access the fill tank. Be careful with the top, it's a little tricky to get off and get pinched along the top, but just work it over slowly and definitely make sure you don't forget this middle screw that's in the grill here because it's kind of camouflaged. But once we have that done, we can access this container here. You need to fill this up with antifreeze and water based on the lowest temperatures in your area. And there's a chart on the manual and on the bottle of antifreeze that they send with you that tells you what that is. For my area, it's a 50-50 mix. You fill up the antifreeze first and some of the water, half the water, you run the system, and then you put the rest of the water in. Let's go ahead and do that. You need to use distilled water for this, right? This is water that's had all the minerals and impurities removed because you don't want those impurities building up in the cooling system of your CO2 laser. So make sure you're using distilled water. You're gonna have to go out and buy that from the grocery store. I, in my case, I need to add 400 milliliters first. Keep in mind, you need to do it based on the lowest temperature for your area. Now I'm inside, but if my furnace happens to stop working, I want to make sure I'm covered, and if I end up moving this into the garage. So we're going to add my 400 milliliters, and then I'm supposed to run the system, and then add 300 milliliters more. So. Power it up using the switch on the back. That took care of our first fill. Now for the second fill, in my case, I'm putting 300 more milliliters in. You're supposed to monitor the bottle to make sure you don't accidentally overflow. You don't want that water running into the system. Let's go ahead and fill up that last amount of water. Remember, we are using distilled water to make sure all the impurities are out so that minerals and whatever is in the water supply is not ending up into your system. Okay. Manual says do about a 30 second wait. Do a 30 second wait in between that first fill and the second fill so that it has time to cycle. Also while you're back here you can go ahead and inspect the CO2 tube to make sure you don't see any issues with it. Any cracks, anything along those resorts that would make the laser unsafe to be using. Everything looks fine so I'm going to remove my funnel here. We're going to put the cap back on. And then I need to reinstall the back. I'm going to slide that back on. We're going to reinstall the five screws in the back. Keep in mind your five screws in the back are longer screws. Using that same screwdriver that X-Tool provided.
And we'll get those installed back in. Get that last screw installed. And roll it back and reinstall the six screws on the inside. And that's it for getting your liquid installed in your Xtool P2 laser. If you found this video helpful, feel free to click that like button. I'm also going to include a link in the description to information on this laser if you want to check it out. I'm planning on putting together a lot more content around this laser, so feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to see those future videos. Until then, I'm going to start making with this thing.